Are you ready for the truth? Then let's do it. Hello players, HDMI 2.1 is currently the latest HDMI standard and supports video resolutions of up to 8K at 60Hz or 4K at 120Hz and a bunch of other features like variable refresh rate and EOC, which we'll get into in a minute. The HDMI 2.1 spec provides 48 gigabits per second of data throughput and should make connecting all of your new video and audio and gaming equipment pretty straightforward and give you some great new features. In order to run at 4K 120 and beyond, you will need some new cables. And already, already, just the cables, the water starts to get muddy. According to the official website, hdmi.org, no use of version numbers is allowed on the labeling, packaging, or promotion of any cable product. So nowhere, nowhere on any official packaging will you see these cables are for use for HDMI 2.1 products. What a great decision. Now, that's not to say that some sellers haven't broken this rule, mostly on Amazon and eBay, but instead, the names for HDMI are, you ready, get a pen and paper, standard, standard with ethernet, high speed, high speed with ethernet, category three premium, and category three ultra. So pick one. <laughs> they were in the right order, and anything before category three will top out at 4K, 30 hertz, which is fine for movies and TV, but if you are gaming or watching The Hobbit, you will need Category 3 or above to get 4K 60 and above. Category 3 Premium, or sometimes called High Speed Premium, yeah, that's great, supports a maximum of 4K 60, and Category 3 Ultra supports a maximum of 8K 60. If you are buying cables today, I would recommend just going for the latest Category 3 Ultra, no matter which device you are connecting, as they are all backwards compatible and it just saves a headache in the future. But as to why they just won't allow manufacturers to write HDMI 2.1 on the Ultra cable is, is crazy to me. Let's talk about features, starting with EARC. Without going in too deep, EARC stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel, and in a nutshell, it allows the audio to be sent from the TV and passed through to the sound system without having to use a separate cable for all of your devices. EARC is one of the big features being pushed with HDMI 2.1 from TV manufacturers. However, it is possible for manufacturers to support EARC on an HDMI 2.0 port if they choose. And you do not need a new cable if you are just using EARC. EARC is supported on high speed with Ethernet and above. Yes, EARC also supports the latest high bitrate audio formats up to 192kHz 24-bit, uncompressed 5.1 and 7.1, and 32-channel uncompressed audio. It also supports DTS-HD, Master Audio, DTS-SX, Dolby True HD, and Dolby Atmos. Wow! Everything works! No. Sit back down, put your arms down, stop cheering. While the HDMI spec supports those things, the hardware manufacturer is under no obligation to support any of those formats and it can even not support EARC altogether if they choose. This was historically a problem with Sonos equipment as they would only support the Dolby format and not DTS. Even with their latest premium soundbar called the Sonos Arc, that didn't have any DTS support until recently. It does now, sort of. And it's not just sound equipment that might not support audio formats you want. In addition to your sound system supporting the required audio format, often the TV has to support it as well. As a, as a side note, uncompressed Dolby Atmos is achievable over HDMI 2.0 if you have exactly the right setup. There's, I mean, it's also a similar story for the other features of HDMI 2.1, like auto low latency mode, variable refresh rate, and quick frame transport. These are all supported with the HDMI 2.1 spec, but just because your new shiny TV has HDMI 2.1, that doesn't mean they will be supported. It's up to the TV and hardware manufacturers to implement these features, and they can choose to leave them out or disable them if they choose. So really check the spec sheet on the TV you want before pulling the trigger to make sure it has all the features that are important to you, because there's a chance that it might not support any of it. In rare cases, some of those features can be supported on HDMI 2.0 if the manufacturer chooses. TV makers can build support for variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode over HDMI 2.0. Most of the time they don't, but it has been done. Due to bandwidth limitations, it's maybe impossible to have all of the 2.1 features over 2.0, but having one is entirely possible. 
which is why it is important to check the actual spec sheet, not just the marketing blurb when you buy a new TV. Moving on to HDR, HDR is fully supported in HDMI 2.0, but dynamic HDR, which constantly adjusts the image as the video is being played, is exclusive to HDMI 2.1. But again, it's the same story. It must also be supported by the TV maker. You don't just get it because your TV has is an HDMI 2.1 TV. Right, so is HDMI 2.1 a scam? No, but the whole specifications and labeling system is a complete mess and needs a complete overhaul. The HDMI 2.1 name means nothing if none of the features are supported. In my opinion, if it carries an HDMI 2.1 badge, then it should support all the features, right? Is there a better solution to HDMI? Yes and no. The better solution would be to use the cheaper and higher bandwidth DisplayPort 2.0 standard, which supports 16K at 60 Hertz. But you'll hardly find any TV or AV equipment that supports DisplayPort. That's because back in the early 2000s, these guys were the founders of HDMI and it is far too integrated in every device now to change it. Yeah, capitalism. <laughs> I haven't even touched on how much of a mess ARC and CEC are, but that will come in another video. So I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Put your tales of HDMI woes in the comments below. If you liked it, hit the like button or super thanks to buy me a coffee. Uh, we'll sit and chat, it'll be good. We'll, we'll, we'll hang out. <laughs> There's also a sub button if you want to see more like this. There's just so many things, the, the sub button, more like this, too many buttons. Just press one of them, I'll be happy. <laughs> and until next time, keep playing and be excellent to each other.